Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 7 over x plus 8 whole cubed is equal to 150. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This 7, 7 can be written as 8 minus 1. So, this expression at the left hand side will become x plus 8 minus 1 divided by x plus 8 whole cube is equal to 150. Now, this expression can be written as x plus 8 divided by x plus 8 whole cubed minus 1 over x plus 8 whole cubed is equal to 150. Now, this x plus 8 will be cancelled out with this cube and here left 2. So, this expression will become 1 over x plus 8 whole squared minus this 1 over x plus 8 whole cubed is equal to 150. Now, this one is same as 1 squared and this one is same as 1 cubed. So, we can write this expression as 1 over x plus 8 whole squared minus this expression can be written as 1 over x plus 8 whole cubed is equal to 150. Now, here we have same expression 1 over x plus 8 and here we have same expression 1 over x plus 8. So, we suppose that let 1 over x plus 8 is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m squared minus m cubed is equal to 150. Now, we move this uh, negative m cubed and this uh, m squared to the right hand side then this equation will become this uh, negative m cubed will become positive m cubed at right hand side. This positive m squared will become negative m squared at right hand side plus this 150 is equal to 0. Next m cubed minus m squared this uh, 150 can be written as uh, plus uh, 125 plus 25 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, 125, 125 is the same as 5 cubed. So, we write this uh, 125 with this in cubed because this uh, 25, 25 is same as 5 squared. So, we write this uh, 25 with this m squared like this m cubed plus 125 minus m squared plus 25 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed plus 125. We write a negative sign before parenthesis. Then this negative m squared will become positive m squared this plus 25 will become negative 25 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed plus, uh, we can write this uh, 125 as 5 cube minus m squared. We can write this uh, 25 as 5 square is equal to 0. 
Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This uh, m cubed plus uh, 5 cubed will become m plus 5 times m squared minus uh, 5 times m plus uh, 5 squared or 25 minus by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, m squared minus uh, 5 squared will become m plus uh, 5 times m minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m plus 5, this expression m plus 5 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, m plus 5 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, m squared minus 5 plus 25 minus this m minus 5. In bracket left, uh, m squared minus uh, 5 times m plus uh, 25 minus m minus 5 is equal to 0. Next, m plus uh, 5 times m squared minus uh, 5 times m plus uh, 25 due to this minus uh, this uh, positive m will become negative m and this negative 5 will become positive 5 is equal to 0. Next m plus uh, 5 times m squared negative 5 m minus 1 m will become negative 6 times m. And, uh, 25 plus 5 will become plus 30 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression m plus uh, 5 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared minus uh, 6 times m plus 30 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to negative 5. And from this equation, we see that the discriminant is less than 0 or greater than 0. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 30. And the discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4ac and this is equal to negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 30 and this is equal to negative 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 30 120 and this is equal to 36 minus 120 will become negative 84. So, the discriminant also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of m negative 5. Now, to find the value of x recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, 1 over x plus 8 is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, 1 over x plus 8 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to negative 5, then this equation will become 1 over x plus 8 is equal to negative 5. And if we multiply both sides by x plus 8, this implies that 1 is equal to negative 5 times 
x plus a x 1 is equal to negative 5 times x is negative 5 x and negative 5 times plus 8 is negative 40. Now, we move this uh, negative 40 to the left hand side. Then this equation will become 1 plus uh, 40 is equal to negative 5 x and 1 plus 40 is uh, 41 is equal to negative 5 x and from here we divide both sides of the equation by negative 5. So, this is negative 5 will be cancelled out with this negative 5 and from here we get the value of x is equal to negative 41 over 5. This is the final value of x, this is the final answer of this equation.